What's up, everyone? I'm James Young with James Young Photography, and I'm bringing you episode number 16 of Teach Me How to Lightroom. In this episode, we're taking this silhouette image that was taken during a wedding, and we're going to totally transform it into a much more vibrant and magical silhouette image. We're going to take it from here straight at a camera, bam, to there. Now don't forget, there's a link in the description down below so that you can download this exact RAW file and follow along. And if you find that you could have gone a different direction with the edit, maybe something completely better than what I did, I would love to see what you did. Feel free to post your edit on social media. Make sure to tag me in it. All of my social media is down below. And I would love to see what you did. And if you like the edit, don't forget to leave a like down below. And if you're new, I would love it if you subscribe to the channel. Well, let's hit the reset and let's get started. Right off the bat with this image, I can zoom in and I can see some sensor dust. So straight away, I'm going straight for the spot removal tool and I'm just gonna do one simple click and that thing is gone. Let's zoom out real quick. Okay, cool, I'm happy with that. And that little dot is not gonna mess with us the rest of the edit. Now, before I get into the basic module, the first thing I like to do when I start my edits is go to the tone curve and apply a medium contrast curve. Now, I shot this image raw, and because I was trying to expose for the vibrancy of the sunset, I did underexpose it just a little bit, knowing I was going to utilize all the information in the raw file and post. So that's exactly what we're going to start off with. So with the exposure, we're going up half a stop right there at 0.5. Then with the contrast, we're going to bump it just a little bit more, about plus 15. You can already see the sky starting to get really rich here. Now with our highlights, we're going to drop these down a little bit to about minus 30. Perfect, I like that. Then as we move down to our shadows, typically when we're doing edits, we like to increase the shadows. However, you can see here, increasing the shadows really negates the effect of having a silhouette. So instead, we're actually gonna drop our shadows so that we can increase the effect of the silhouette here to about minus 20. And then with our white slider, we're gonna bring those up quite a bit to about plus 35 or so as well. And this sky is just starting to boom already, I love it. Then with our black, same thing as the shadows, we're gonna bring those down just a little bit as well. Just a touch, about plus 10. One last thing I want to do with the contrast of this image is come down to the vibrance all the way down because for some reason that's an awesome place for a very powerful contrast tool is at the very bottom. Shout out to Adobe. And we're going to bump this up to about plus 10. Okay, sweet. Now let's scroll back up and we've hit our presence section. Now with our clarity, we're going to bump this up just a little bit to about plus 20, 25 or so. And with our vibrance, we're gonna bring that down just a little bit. Let's go around minus 20. Now something to remember about the vibrance and saturation is the vibrance controls mostly the cooler tones, the blues, the purples, magentas, etc., of your color swatch. Conversely with the saturation, while the saturation does control the overall tonal saturation, it does have an emphasis on the warmer tones, so your yellows and things like that. And for this edit, we're just gonna avoid the saturation slider. So at this point, I'm happy with where the basic portion of the edit's taken place. You can see there's a lot of detail that's coming back out of the sky, lots of colors are coming out, but we wanna give this a very, very magical type feeling. And we wanna bring out even more dramatic colors out of this sky. And the way that we're gonna do that, let's scroll down and we're gonna hit our split toning here. Now, once we get to the split tonings, we start with our highlights. And what this area of the module does is it literally injects color into that section of the histogram. So our highlights, whatever hue we select here, those tones are gonna get masked with the color that we select. So for this edit, let's go to about 60. And for the saturation, we're gonna go about 75. Oh wow, 76 is fine with me, look at that already has made a dramatic difference. Let's turn that off and turn it back on. Look at how rich the colors in the sky are now. Wow, okay, cool. And with the shadows, we're really gonna bring out that magical look. Now check it out. Instead of using the slider, I'm just gonna click on the little square next to the shadows. That's gonna bring up the entire color palette. 
and we're gonna hone in somewhere around this pink area oh wow and you can see it in real time that's pretty awesome so let's go around 330 or so here we go 329 is good with me and about 45 46 or so on the saturation wow super magical so let's take a look at what it looked like before the split toning and bam after the split toning that's a super powerful tool so i like where we've ended up and i want to do one last thing to the color here let's scroll all the way back up and on the main temperature slider i'm going to change the temperature just a little bit let's reduce it some let's go about 45 50 on the kelvin there and you can just see here, the colors are just extremely vibrant. I love it. Now let's take a look at the before. So this is straight out of the camera and bam, after. That is so, so magical, I love it. Now check this out. I really wanna show you the power of shooting raw here. I'm gonna open up the left-hand module here and I'm gonna create a snapshot of what we just created and we'll just call that snapshot one, perfect. And I'm gonna scroll back down to the split toning and just turn this off. So saturation zero, saturation zero. And because there's so much color information that was captured here in the raw file, we can actually go in a totally different mood with this, with our color temperature and watch this. We can crank this up all the way to like 50,000 Kelvin here and totally change the mood with this edit. So there's snapshot number two. And then let's do one more quick edit with just a couple more clicks. With treatment, let's click black and white. And on highlights, let's go all the way up. And then as we go down to whites, let's go all the way up as well. And bam, there we have it, another edit. So let's click another snapshot, three, boom, another one. So we can see our before, our straight out of camera, which honestly really isn't a bad image, it's just a little underexposed. And then we can go from snapshot number one, snapshot number two, and snapshot number three. Three totally different edits in just a couple of seconds really, just a few clicks. And that is the power of shooting raw and using Lightroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And that'll wrap it up for this edit. If you like this edit, I would really appreciate leaving a like on the video. Share it with a couple of your friends. It really helps the channel grow. And if you're new, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. And if you downloaded the raw file down below, I would love to see the edit that you were able to come up with. Feel free to post it on social media and tag me. All of my information is down there in the description as well. Well, I'm James Young with jamesyoungphotography.com, and this is Teach Me How to Lightroom.